All right, everyone, the Georgia Democratic Party is under investigation for uh, apparently attempting to hack into the voter registration rolls. Yeah, you heard that right, the, the Georgia Democratic Party, not a person, not like, hey, some rogue staffer decided they were going to hack into something. No, I mean the Georgia Democratic Party, which leads me to believe, although full information isn't being released because this is apparently a fairly high-level investigation into electoral fraud, into, into election interference, no less, uh, it's probably an organized effort involving numerous people if the entire fucking party is being investigated down in Georgia. Now, the Georgia Democrats uh, turn out to be the real, the real attempt to uh, hack into the elections. A literal hack. Like, we're not talking about, like, oh, some Russian national used, you know, 10 bucks from the Kremlin to buy a Facebook ad. It's horrible. It might have changed one person's vote. Uh, in a close race. Now, that's really what's been drummed up. It's like, Russia, some Russian nationals, Don Jr. meeting with a Russian in Trump Tower, my goodness, and then not buying dirt because, you know, he basically was laughing at the whole idea with Roger Stone, apparently. So, and so there was no scandal. It's like, people are still... People are still talking about the Mueller probe. And they're like, well, after the election, the Democrats will have the House. Mueller will take a shit on Trump. He will get impeached. The Senate will be forced to remove him from office. And then we're going to get rid of Pence, too. And then we'll have President Nancy Pelosi or whoever's next in line. Yeah, that would be a very, very fun time. I'm sure the Democrats would really love a President Nancy Pelosi because then they could impeach her, too. Uh, it's not going to happen, though. It's never going to happen. Mueller's not going to indict Trump. Uh, they tried to drum up that story like three days ago, and they were like, oh, we think that he's already been indicted, and it's just not public yet because of the midterms. It's like, no, it was confirmed. That's bullshit. He didn't get indicted. If he had, it would be quite a story now, wouldn't it? Now they're trying to bite at the ankles of Roger Stone, which, do we, I mean, which makes sense, basically. The only person after Manafort that they could potentially go after that would be, that would be truly close to Trump. Like, they can't go after his family. It's not going to happen because there's no wrongdoing there. Roger Stone uh, is a dubious character. We already, by the way, know this. It was the same as Manafort. Was it illegal? It's not illegal. As far as I know, an unofficial campaign advisor acting as an unofficial middleman, consulting publicly available information, probably not illegal. Now, it's probably not election interference, but what the Georgia Democratic Party did allegedly is attempting to literally hack into the voter registration rolls. Um, let me ask this. For what purpose would a political movement, Republican, Democrat, whatever it is, for what purpose would they want the voter registration uh, files? To change them. Why would they want to change them? Oh, to deregister people likely to vote Republican. <laughs> That's the whole thing. They're trying to steal the election in Georgia. Isn't there a close race actually down there too? Isn't there a fairly close race? Um, yeah, I, I think that they probably looked at early voting, which I think has been happening. I think uh, Georgia has early voting. I think some states don't have early voting, do they? You can do absentee, like, by mail. I think that's every state. But but there are some you can't, like, just go fucking show up and vote early. In some states, you can. Like, in Florida, the Republicans still have over a 25,000 vote edge <laughs> in Florida. Now, that's be, that's basically the results aren't being tallied. It's just how many ballots were returned from people who are registered for one party or the other, Republican or Democrat. Typically, the Republicans come in behind. They show up on voting day itself, and then we have at least one poll. It's from Fox, so take it with a grain of salt, but it says that Republicans, by four points, more likely to be excited about voting. That's, uh, that's troublesome for the Democrats. I'm sure they do not want an enthusiasm gap. Definitely not. Uh, if that's indeed true, I would expect the Republicans might gain an extra Senate seat. They might end up, might end up at 55, <laughs> quite reliably, because that would uh, presumably give them uh, control. They would hold Nevada. Um, they would probably gain Arizona at that point. That would and, and Florida. So that's 53 right there. <laughs> that's pretty close to the mark. And then you know there are a bunch of other races they could potentially pull ahead, and they could knock Menendez out. That would be ultimately the big prize for them is to knock Menendez out. McCaskill looks like she's probably already down and out. Uh, if she manages to hold her seat, the Republicans will be crying at the end of the night. But as far as Georgia goes. I'm not sure. How close is the race down there? I haven't really kept up with it. I've been so concerned about other races, specifically Florida, Missouri, and Arizona. Those are the big three. And now I would say Indiana with Donnelly, at least as far as the Senate goes. In the House, it's a different story. There are so many races and so many races for which there aren't enough polls. It's kind of a little bit harder to actually uh, keep these things in mind. By the way, I will be talking with H.A. Goodman for those who are interested later. Uh, at around 2 o'clock, but that's going to be pre-recorded. I think the idea is to upload it in the evening or in tomorrow. 
Uh, and then tonight I will be presumably on Infowars itself at 7 p.m., uh, thereabouts, uh, around that time slot. Uh, they're doing special election coverage. Now, I haven't heard back yet, but I believe it's confirmed, so it's going to be a good time, I hope. The Georgia Democratic Party is in big doo-doo. And it was like at the time when the story broke the other day, I had like five people, <laughs> because the story was so wacky, I had like five or six people actually message me uh, on multiple platforms with the same link uh, within 10 minutes of one another. That's, that's how important the story is. You've got the Attorney General there saying, yeah, well, it looks like there might be a problem. We can't tell you too much about it, though. Like, literally, there's not too much more to say because uh, they've got to keep it under wraps. It's an important investigation. Again, that indicates to me this isn't just some rogue staffer tried and failed to get into the voter registration system. This points, in my mind, to a more concerted effort when the whole Democratic Party there is under investigation, apparently, uh, in, in tangent to this actual activity that went on. That's pretty damning uh, to people of Georgia, I would say. Maybe you should keep that in mind when you go vote. Yeah, you probably should. I know, like Georgia, deeply red. They said they tried to call it a swing state in 2016, which was almost funnier than them trying to call Montana and Arizona swing states. It's sort of like when people made up those like MAGA hat maps where they're like, oh, California will go for Trump. Don't worry about this because, you know, he's Hollywood friendly. He's got New York because he's a New Yorker. It's like it was never going to happen. It's the same thing that the Democrats try to do. Right now they're trying to paint a very, very rosy map indeed of their house chances. Like Jenk when he says, oh yeah, the Democrats will have like a 35, 40 seat lead at the end of the... I think his guess, wasn't it his guess is 42 seat lead like overall like having 42 seats more than the republicans yeah uh, i shit you not he actually thinks that that's going to happen nate silver comes out that's the big story of the day i got to talk about nate silver confusing his whole audience fundamentally right poorly explained and not 100 percent true uh leads up to a situation where people are like what the fuck <laughs> it's demoralizing i think the democrats which is really really funny he's covering his ass but i'll try to explain that that's about all Peace out.